back to Drinks and Dunks. I'm your host, Ben Marquardt, um, here on Super Bowl Sunday. Today, we're going to be discussing the picks that I had on Thursday, and also we're going to go through the tiers in the NBA. I'm going to break down the NBA teams from championship contender and favorites to the worst teams in the league. So, we're going to go through that, but first, we're going to start with the beer. So, today, I got the Endless Color. Um, it's a hoppy wheat ale from Maplewood Brewing Company out of Chicago. Now, I'm going to be honest, I did have a beer set up for you guys today, one of my favorite beers, but got a little out of hand last night and had uh, all of them that we had left. So, had to make an audible here in honor of uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and we went with a different beer that we had on deck, which is the Endless Color, like I said. First taste... It's actually a lot more flavorful than I was expecting. Um, I do like wheat ales, um, but it does have a, a lot more hop flavor than I was anticipating, which is actually really good. Um, usually wheat ales are a little bit, a little bit uh, like less flavorful, and but this one, you know, it really packs a punch. I'm gonna rate it a and I'm gonna give it an eight point two. Um, really good beer. Um, yeah, I really like the flavor, and it's really smooth. Looking back at Thursday's games, we had the Lakers minus five versus the Nuggets, um, and the Warriors plus two and a half versus the Mavs. This was actually a really good day uh, for my picks, as the Lakers ended up winning by 21, so they cover that one pretty easily, and the Warriors, being an underdog, won by 31, which is pretty insane. Um, so both of those picks won easily. That uh, did bring us to seven, eight, and one on the season. So we're inching closer to that 500 mark to avoid the, the shotgun and maybe treat ourselves with the broad or something. Tonight's pick, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna go with the Super Bowl because it is Super Bowl Sunday. You guys can see that I got the uh, the MVPs next to each other and in honor of Aaron Rodgers winning the his third MVP, I got my. Packers gear on. Um, they definitely should be playing in this game, but that's a, a different uh, different show to be talking about that. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs minus three versus the Bucks. Um, I definitely thought the Packers were the better team two weekends ago, and I think that uh, Patrick Mahomes is going to go crazy against that Tampa Bay secondary. So I'm riding with them, hoping to draw even on the season um, and go closer to avoiding that shotgun. All right, we're going to go on to the NBA tiers, and I'm going to try to fly through these pretty quick because there is 30 teams. But starting at the top, Tier 1, this is a championship favorite tier for me. Um, I think it has to be the Lakers and the Lakers by themselves. Obviously, they won it last year, and they do look just as dominant, if not maybe a little bit more with the new pieces they added. So I got the Lakers out of respect in the first tier all by themselves. Moving on to the second tier, we got the... Title contenders, you know, um, Lakers are obviously the favorite, but, and these, and this ranking is going to go down, um, in order of teams that I think have the best chance to win it. Um, so with the Lakers being at the top, I got the Clippers second. Um, I think adding a Baca is really going to help, um, even the matchup against the Lakers. So I got them second. I got the Bucks third. Um, I do think Drew Holiday is going to make such a difference. And I'm really encouraged by the way that Bud's actually making adjustments this year and trying different defenses. I think that's going to help a ton. So I got the Bucks third. And then I got the Nets fourth. Um, they're just starting to gel a little bit together. And with the COVID protocols and Kevin Durant getting pulled out, that kind of threw a wrench into their last game against the 76ers. But I got the Nets fourth just because of star power. Um, we know in the playoffs, isolation scoring is huge and those three guys can score on anyone. So moving on to tier three, we got the conference finals contenders. These are teams that um, wouldn't be shocked if they did make the conference finals, um, slash some teams that have already made conference finals. So starting, we got the Sixers. Um, they are number one in the East right now with the best record in the East. Um, I do put them a tier below those other two teams in the East though, just because um, the core of this team is the same. The big three is the same. 
Um, they do have a different coach, and we'll see how that works. But we've kind of seen what Ben and Joel can do in the playoffs. And, I mean, they could take a step up, but I'm basing it off of that wait-and-see approach. Then we got the Jazz. They're the number one record in the in the West, or they did. They won 11 straight. Um, and I definitely think they could make the conference finals. They had the, the star power with Mitchell and Gobert. And they were really close to knocking out the Nuggets, who are coming in next um, and in the conference finals contenders. Um, the Nuggets I have right below the Jazz, just because um, I do think the Nuggets took a step back defensively, and they've struggled a little bit to start the season. And then the final um, conference finals contender I have is the Celtics. Um, they're big three-ish players with Kemba, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown are three of the top, I don't know, 30, 35 players in the league. And anytime you have that um, with a Marcus Smart and a decent coach, you're going to be a conference final contender. Plus, they have made it a few times in the past. Tier 4, I got the high upside playoff teams. I got the Suns, Warriors, Mavericks, Blazers, Raptors, and Heat. Um, a lot of these teams are kind of underachieving right now, but do have that high upside where you wouldn't be shocked if they broke through and got hot at the right time and ended up in the conference finals. I don't have them as true title contenders, but I do think all of these teams, if they they hit the right spot, they could really make a run for it. You know, we've seen that with the Blazers and, the, you know, the Warriors had that pedigree, even the Heat in the bubble last year. So these are the teams that have the experience and have the players that could break through. Tier 5, I got the low upside playoff teams. These are teams that I definitely believe are going to be in the playoffs, but don't think they could make that push to the conference finals. They might be able to win a round, but I think that's kind of where they're capped at. I have the Pacers coming in at the first Tier 5 team. Then I got the Hawks, the Spurs, and the Rockets. So those are some teams that I, I, I don't really think they have that high upside like the tier ahead of them because they don't have the star quality or the experience that have, they have been there before. Tier six, I got fighting for a playoff or play in teams. Um, these are teams that are going to be in that eight to ten range, um, where they're fighting just to make the play in, and they probably won't uh, win a first round series if they do make the playoffs. I got the Pelicans, the Knicks, the Grizzlies, the Hornets, and the Kings. Um, the only teams that I really see could make a push out of there are honestly just the Pelicans, and that's due to their star power of uh, Brandon Ingram and Zion. And then we got the Tier 7, which is the feisty teams, um, teams that I wouldn't be shocked if they squeaked into that 10 or 9 or 10 spot and made the play-in tournament. And that's the Cavs and the Bulls, um, just below the fighting for play -in. And then I have the bad teams in Tier 8. And I have the Thunder, the Magic, the Wizards, the T-Wolves, and the Pistons. And I don't really expect any of these teams to end up contending for a play-in spot, maybe the Thunder and maybe the Wizards, if... Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook could somehow figure out how to play together a little bit better. But those are kind of the tiers how I see it right now. Um, so thanks for watching today. Make sure you put in the beer suggestions and uh, have fun watching the Super Bowl. Thanks, guys. Thanks.